everyone welcome back to the channels so as i promised uh, you guys basically uh, i will launch the number of project for the devops basically it's uh, based on the real time okay so today uh, we will uh, cover about the how to host a simple web website basically website or application using secure s3 bucket with the cloud fund okay so what is the secure s3 bucket basically normally if we host any object in the s3 bucket and that object need to be accessible by the uh, third party person or user basically so we need to give the s3 bucket policy to allow get object policy basically on the s3 bucket to uh, access through the public network okay so but in this situation we will not give that kind of policy basically i will show, show you both the differences how to secure and how not secure basically public read so i will show you uh, both the things don't worry so today we will uh, mostly things uh, are the cover using secure s3 bucket okay and the cloud fund okay so the third per third person who are trying to access this uh, website basically he will use a cloud fund url okay not the s3 bucket uh, url to access the data basically data or website okay so the requirement is like a host a simple a sample application using s3 bucket and the cloud front okay make sure s3 bucket object should not be a public okay as i said and it should be only accessible via cloud front okay so i will show you in the architecture diagram what will happen give additional domain name okay for the cloud front and configure route 53 route 53 dns entry okay so to achieve this requirement basically we we need a s3 bucket cloud front uh, one SSL certificate, okay, which we need to configure in the North Virginia, which is by default for the CloudFront. Basically, give additional domain name for CloudFront. Then we we are doing this deployment or creation of the resources as a using infrastructure as a code CDK. Basically, okay. If you have expertise in the Terraform, you can definitely go with that as well. Okay, just code might be different. Okay, then <clears throat> let me show you the, this architectural diagram. Basically, so in this case. The user will not directly go to the s3 bucket url he will route to route through the first he will access the cloud front url basically which is we will configure the dns entry in the route 53 so user will get one domain name basically okay like example.com and we use ssl certificate to make it secure okay so instead of going that user access uh, request to direct bucket this will route to through the cloud front basically okay with the secure manner okay and this s3 bucket object will not be a public only this object could accessible by cloud front only okay so we i have written all the cdk code here okay if you also in the last time i have prepared one playlist basically cdk zero to hero if you don't aware about the how to use cdk cdk code basically okay so you can just follow this playlist basically it's very simple you can just initialize your project on your local machine by using visual studio okay client basically id and from there you can just clone my repo i have mentioned in in the bottom of this bottom of this repo basically okay and you can just do whatever the changes i have mentioned all the code here just do whatever the changes wherever the applicable basically like your domain name ssl certificate details or other s3 bucket details basically okay so you can do whatever the changes according to your infrastructure basically and you can then you can just do cdk deployment so this infrastructure will create within a few seconds okay it will not take too much time but as uh, the cloud friend uh, might take some times like a uh, one or two minutes something or more than that so you just you just need to wait for there okay to create the cloud fund and the status should be available okay so uh, i have mentioned the git uh, repo here okay if you just go to that repo you can just don't worry i will add this link in the descri description box basically so you can just simply follow that so i have ordered all the code here and the also i have updated the architecture diagram as well how this will happen this project basically okay we will get this url with the https secure okay then we will deploy this infrastructure by using cdk infrastructure as a code okay by using visual studio uh, client id tool basically okay <laughs> And we will create route 53 DNS entry, cloud front and S3 bucket. Okay. And the S3 bucket policy will automatically apply. Okay. Which is gen generated by the cloud, cloud front basically. Okay. So code wise, you can just definitely just follow this in the lib basically. In the lib, you can just follow this git CDK code basically. Okay. And do required changes. So 
now let me show you in the AWS accounts how it's happened basically just to save the time basically I have already created the one S3 bucket as I said in the through the CDK code and CloudFront also created okay so let me show you first S3 bucket I have this S3 bucket so which is not a public okay you can see the sign here and I want to show one more thing here just uh, just for your information basically what is a public bucket and what is the secure bucket okay so if I just open this bucket and go to the permission tab okay you can see here I have the bucket policy okay which is gate object which is means read read object basically for this single bucket which I allows publicly basically okay this bucket data can be publicly accessible okay how to verify that just if I open this index.html and if I just click on this URL okay I will get this page okay because it's publicly accessible but if I go to our original bucket which is used by CloudFront okay secure if I open this secure bucket and you can just see the permission tab here I have blocked all the public access here okay if I just expand it and also the bucket policy is different this bucket bucket policy will allow only CloudFront to access this bucket data okay you can see here you can see the CloudFront ID here this one right now if I go to object here okay and if I open this index.html as we see is seen it's not a public uh, open right if I just open this link I'm, I will not able to get the access basically why because this bucket is secured and it's not uh, available for the public one okay only CloudFront can access this bucket with the secured manner okay so this way you can just secure your bucket basically and in the real time you just have to do this this type of configuration okay so you don't need to open the bucket publicly okay so this way you can just use the cloud fund and if I open this as I said I we will get the uh, similar you know where normally we get load balancer DNS endpoint right so same thing we will get this load balancer uh, sorry cloud front uh, dns endpoint here you no know, distributor domain name you can see if you just can if you can just open and hit this url it will not work i just need to add the index dot dot html here see you can see the page has page is working fine okay also additionally because sometimes very hectic to remember this your uh, dynamic word right uh, random word basically okay so for that to avoid this kind of situation we just added alternative domain names basically okay app dot aws guruji dot net if i open this url in the browser okay so we need to pass these index dot html basically and you can see okay the s3 bucket the cloud fund is successfully getting the access from the uh, s3 bucket object and i am able to see this page basically okay so one more thing i want to show the additional basically in the origins if you can just click on that and if you can just open it you will get all the configuration basically how it's happened okay if you want to make a public uh, accessible through the a bucket you can just do that but it's not a secured way so this way you can just configure that origins but by using if you just execute the CDK code which I have provided in the GitHub basically so you don't need to worry about this manual configuration so it will happen automatically through the CDK okay just you need to change the whatever the uh, options in your uh, infrastructure basically domain name and the other uh, S3 bucket like that okay so now one more thing uh, manually I want to show okay so whatever the we are getting here basically with the CloudFront URL this page so we can see this page here okay if I just manually download it index.html let me open that on the locally basically you can see here okay local so this way this way you can host your uh, simple web application basically website 
by using S3 bucket, secured S3 bucket and the CloudFront, okay? So you can just follow all the details here. Uh, everything did mentioned in the repo basically, okay? You, ju you just don't need to worry about that. So I will add this URL in the description box so you can just follow, okay? Uh, <clears throat> after that, if you have any questions or uh, you are getting any issues during this setup basically, you can just add the comment okay uh, with your questions basically so i will try to help help on that okay so yeah that's all for the today's session we will uh, see in the next devops project basically okay with the more uh, real-time cases okay thank you